Hi, it's Buggy Monday at Drawing Club. Today we're drawing Dave the Comical Caterpillar. Okay, this is Dave Cosmopolis, the Comic Caterpillar. And to draw Dave, you're going to need a pencil, an eraser to erase any mistakes, maybe a pencil sharpener, and a black marker or a black pencil crayon to outline him at the end. But as usual, I'm going to start my drawing with a gray marker. Um, you should be using a pencil though, but just so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So let's put our caterpillar here and our butterfly here to watch what we're doing. Okay. So to start Dave, we're going to make his uh, head capsule, which is what the head of a caterpillar is called. And we're just going to make a circle kind of shape. Just like this. And for the rest of his body, we're just going to make a long tube, a little bit like what we did when we made the worm a few weeks ago. So I'm just going to make a long curving line, like one of those long um, party balloons you sometimes see. I'm just going to bring it all the way back up to that head capsule, just like that. And remember, if I'm drawing too quickly, you can always uh, pause the video and slow me down so you can catch up. So we're going to put on his um, these bottom legs here in a moment. And I'm going to tell you all about what these things are called at the end um, when we're going over him again in our black uh, ink. So these little shapes here are just his little, they're called pro legs. We'll talk about them later. And there's one more at the very end near his butt, right there. Okay, he's also got um, what are called true legs at the front here. These are the little legs he'll use to, to hold on to things with. So I'm just gonna put one there, and one there, and one here, just like this. And then I'm gonna do three more on the other side. One there, one there, and one more. Okay. So next we're gonna put in uh, Dave's eyes. So he's got two big round eyes. I'm kind of cheating here a little bit because, in fact, a caterpillar doesn't really have these big eyes. They sometimes look like they do because part of uh, their head capsule kind of looks like these two giant eyes, but they're not actually eyes at all. Um, a caterpillar has much smaller eyes. There we go. And then those little light bubbles in the eyes. I'm going to change the shape just a little bit now. This is um, my gray marker should be your pencil. I'm going to change it just a little bit, but I'm going to change it even more when we use the, um, the black marker for inking. So I'm just going to make that little shape in there to show kind of the side of his face. I'm going to do another one on this side to show the side of his face there. And we're going to put in his mouth. He's got a big toothy grin here. Now a real caterpillar um, doesn't actually have teeth like a person, like a human. Um, they have something called mandibles instead, which is what they use to chew up plants with. But we're making this one a little more cartoony, so we're going to give him these big teeth. Uh, we're going to start making the little kind of uh, shapes um, of the segments of his body. So I'm just going to make little curving lines. I'm going to round them at the sides here and then round them at the side there, just like this. So a little rounding there and bring it over. I'm just going to do this for his whole body. We sort of did this as well with the, um, with Herman the worm. Here we go. Another one, another one, there's a 
caterpillar's body has lots and lots of segments like this. And second last one, and our last one. Perfect. Um, now there's some little uh, circles on the side of his body here. Um, I'm not going to put them in every one of the segments. I'm just going to put them... Um, we're going to do this quite realistically. We're going to just put them on the ones that a real caterpillar would actually have. And I'll explain what those little circles are a bit later on. And next we're going to put on his hair. Now this... Uh, Dave is a kind of caterpillar called a Painted Lady Caterpillar or a Vanessa Cardui, which is the scientific name for this kind of caterpillar. And they turn into a painted lady butterfly, uh, which is a butterfly we can see here later in the summer on PEI. So I'm just gonna give him lots of little black hairs, just like this. I'm starting to think I should, probably should have done this part with my outliner marker at the end because it's going to be very hard to trace over all of these lines again. So I don't know if I'll be very careful when I do that. I might not worry too much about it. Okay, that's all we need to do for our pencil drawing. So I'm going to put away my gray marker. I'm going to take my black uh, marker for outlining with and uh, just go over the, uh, the lines again and make a few changes. And I'm not going to trace over all the lines like this one here because that one goes outside of the face. And I'm not going to trace over these parts here because I would want to erase those at the end if I did this with pencil. So we'll start with those big eyes, which as I said are not really actually eyes. They're just part of his head capsule. So a real caterpillar has um, much more simple kind of eyes and they don't see very well. Um, it's hard for them to figure out how far away things are from them, so they have to move their heads back and forward a lot. Um, just so they can sense how far away things are. There we go. So you probably already know, um, but you might not, that a caterpillar is um, what is called a larva, which is an insect when it's still kind of before it's changed into whatever it's going to change into as an adult. So. Um, Caterpillars are the larvae of butterflies or moths. Um, so caterpillars will change into a butterfly or a moth once they've eaten enough food and gotten big enough. Um, they will spin something called, well, if it's a moth, it will be called a cocoon. And if it's a butterfly a caterpillar, it's called a chrysalis. And they will go inside there. They'll spin it around themselves and they will change into their their final form. Um, caterpillars are one of my favorite insects. Um, I think they're a lot of fun. I think they're very cute the way they move around and um, I'm always looking for them when I'm going on a walk outside to see if I can spot one. Um, one of the things that I think is really interesting is that <laughs> and kind of gross because caterpillars are um, their food for other things, like um, birds, for example, will like, would like to eat caterpillars, um, and other kinds of insects, wasps especially, uh, tend to um, eat caterpillars or um, otherwise hurt caterpillars. So caterpillars have to be very careful about where they poop, because if they poop too close to themselves, then those animals that want to eat them might smell that poop and figure out where they are. So a lot of caterpillars have a special adaptation, a special thing they can do, and that is they can shoot their poop really far away from themselves. So um, a lot of different kinds of caterpillars, they'll make a little hammock in a tree, well, in a leaf. They'll kind of, they'll take a leaf and they'll fold it over a little bit and they'll spin some of their silk and then they'll kind of sit in there and they'll just eat and they're kind of hidden away from some of the things that would want to find them and eat them because they're, they've made this little cozy uh, hammock. But they have to sort of shoot their poop 
far away from themselves so it doesn't end up inside the hammock with them, which would be gross, and also which would attract the animals that might want to eat them. Um, so yes, they are kind of poop bazookas. Um, another amazing thing about caterpillars is they have way more muscles than human beings do. A human being has only about 629 muscles in the body, whereas a caterpillar like Dave here has 4,000 muscles in his body, which is amazing. But that's when you see them moving, the way they can fold their bodies up, the way they can curl, the way they can kind of ripple along when they walk, it shows you how many muscles they have in their bodies. Um, they have three pairs, you can see here, of um, what are called true legs. And then they have these, sometimes um, another uh, four pairs of, or five pairs of these pro legs. And these are the ones that they kind of uh, grab onto things with. If they're hanging off a, a twig or a, a, a leaf. Um, and these little circles here on his side are called spiracles. And this is how a caterpillar breathes. A caterpillar doesn't have a nose uh, like a human being. So it sucks air in through these little holes in its side. And that's how it gets its oxygen. Um, they do have antenna, and they use those to um, sort of smell out where their food is going to be. And they mostly eat, um, well, most kinds of, see, I'm not really tracing over these lines very well, but that's okay. Um, most caterpillars eat plants, uh, but there's a few species of caterpillars that do also eat other insects, but most of them eat plants. So you'll often find them uh, in trees, or on flowers, or on thistles. This kind of um, caterpillar, uh, the painted lady caterpillar, really likes to eat uh, thistles. So you'll find him on kind of spiky looking plants. And that's why he has these sort of spiky looking hairs all over him, so he can hide in there and he won't be seen by birds and other things that want to eat him. Okay. Um, you might have also seen there's another kind of caterpillar called a tent caterpillar and they actually sort of work together in big groups and they form this big silk tent inside of a, um, a tree and sometimes it can look a little bit scary and gross because there's a lot of them in there and they will um, just kind of eat on the leaves of that tree together. Okay, there we go. I think that might be most of Dave Dunn. Um, some caterpillars are poisonous, so you do have to be careful. Sometimes their hair um, can have a little bit of uh, kind of something that would uh, irritate or maybe give you a little rash on your skin. Um, that's sometimes because of the plants that they eat are poisonous. Um, so the monarch butterfly is famously poisonous because it eats milkweed, which is a poison plant, and um, that's one way protect itself because birds don't want to eat them because they taste awful. So just quickly before we uh, go back and finish, uh, this is what a caterpillar's insides look like. And you can probably see here, most of a caterpillar's insides is just one giant stomach because really they're just eating machines. So they eat and eat and eat and eat and um, get bigger and bigger and bigger until they're ready to change into a uh, caterpillar. It changed into a butterfly or a moth, not a caterpillar. Okay, so let's go back and take a look at the color version again. So I colored, um, I looked at what uh, colors a Vanessa Cardui caterpillar really is, and it is this sort of mix of browns and oranges and sort of black. Um, but of course, you could change this caterpillar to a different kind of caterpillar, so he could be bright green or bright yellow or any colors you would like. All right. Thanks for coming today, and I can't wait to see you guys again.